Hi! We're in Italy, so therefore we eat a lot. So we try to be healthy. And uh, one of uh, the favorites here in the house is um, melanzana alla parmigiana. Or is it parmigiana alla melanzana? Whatever. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Living the Villas. I'm Catherine, and this is Zurich. We build houses in Italy and live on a boat during the summer. Two of our houses are located in Piemonte, and the last one on Lake Como. In the season, we use the houses in our guest concept, and in the winter, we enjoy and maintain the properties here in Italy. We left the treadmill in Denmark and are now testing another way of living here in Italy and on board our Green Line 40 hybrid, exploring the world. Follow us on our adventures and please like and subscribe. That's what we YouTubers live for. The main ingredient here is, uh, is eggplant and uh, it has to be drained, so it takes a little time because it has to be prepared a very good time in advance. So uh, first chop these uh, in some thick slices and uh, when you have done that, I take normally, I think I'll take all four here, but uh, for the show today, I'll just show you how I normally do because it has to get some weight. And then I use this one and then it will drain and I leave it for like maybe a couple of hours or so. Next, in a second. And uh, as in many other dishes, uh, onion is one of the, the, the main ingredients or basic ingredients because it has this umami-ish thing. So uh, I take two um, of these red onion. I, have, I think they have a very nice flavor. So uh, chop, 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 and in a pot very soon. And just a plain tomato sauce, um, some nice olive oil in a pot, of course, heat on. And I think we're about to be there, yeah. And onion, lots of onion. Here you go. Yup. And while waiting, I can open the tomatoes. I love muti. It's, uh, in my opinion, the be very best. They're a little bit more expensive, but more so much more tasty. And yeah, my favorite. I think there was about two two onion or so, and uh, for that, yeah, one and a half can of tomatoes and some um, of this uh, concentrate also from Muti. And they need to have a little, a few minutes here. And actually it's extremely simple. Some uh, ore oregano and pepper, a little salt, tomato and just yeah, put it in, but these just have to be softened a bit before I put in the the puree concentrate. So I have to wait, wait a little. I think the onions are about to be here. Have a look. Looks nice now. So then I'll let the concentrate and I like these ones. It's so easy because then you can spare the rest and give it a stir. Yummy, yummy. I will uh, put in the recipe or the way I do it uh, in the text below. Actually, it's not really much effort in it, but mostly waiting because we have the, the eggplant on the side here that's waiting to drain and this one just have to, to um, yeah, get 
get mixed together and then I'll leave it for a bit when it's been up in temperature and then I'll just leave it on the side and set for a, a, as long as it takes some oregano oregano I love it maybe I add some more and pepper and a little more pepper and about to be there and some salt to look and give it a stir again and when boiling I just turn it off and put on the lid and just leave it on the side until I have to use it in, in a little time so yes that's for now after the um, those uh, melanzana eggplants has been uh, drained a bit with a lot of salt I'll rinse them because otherwise everything will be way too salty so this is just a very fast rinsing so here we go cleaning up a bit otherwise it would be way 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 too salty but go ahead with the rest like that and just dry them a bit normally I roll up a bit here like this and dry enough some people uh, prefer to to fry them on a pan but uh, when I do a lot uh, I think it smokes a lot and I rather, would rather do something else while baking these so I just put them in the oven on like 200 degrees or something put some oil on and um, then it's easier then I can do something else in the meantime I don't know if somebody I guess somebody would say oh it's a, a crime just to to do it like this but uh, of course Italian food is more or less a religion so of course somebody will will complain about that <laughs> uh, so I put them in the oven and uh, I'll do the rest here as well so um, bum, 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 in the oven until they look right we'll take a look at it, on that a bit later so yes that was it for now and then we'll take the rest so let's have a look if they are about to be here now no a little too pale still so uh, yes let's uh, give them a few more minutes cheers i think we're about to be done because i'm hungry now so um no matter if they are um, no they are fine 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 so a little darker and a little lighter a little medium these are perfect actually another reason for me not using uh, frying them because they they do uh, uh, absorb a lot of oil so not that i'm making a, a, a diet but i mean there's no reason to add that much oil if you can avoid some but so now we have to put this together. So I start with a layer here of this one so they don't like stick to the to the pan thing. And um yeah, so here we go just adding the layers. Let's see how many we get today. And um so actually pretty simple um, so yeah that's it and uh, here in a second we put on the some some uh, mozzarella even though it's called melanzana and uh, parmigiana so it's actually only on the top 
that's what I do. Sometimes I put some in the middle. You can adjust the way you feel. But I like these with the uh, with, uh, mozzarella. It, it's uh, also a vegetarian uh, dish, so yeah, you get a little uh, more energy. And uh, yeah, I like it like that. You can make your own way. But of course, it's a, an, an Italian dish, so you can easily uh, get in a food fight. Because, I mean, there's nothing more sacred or whatever it's called than, than food in Italy. <laughs> but um, that's also why a lot of us, I'm not going to burn my fingers really love Italy because they are so particular about everything and in design and um, house, uh, houses and so on. I mean, the areas are, are very uh, strict about how things look everywhere. So that's why I think that's why most people really adore Italy because it looks so fine everywhere and the food tastes so amazing so that's why you have to stick to the rules I think that's that's a part of it now I'm getting a little philosophic but yes that's also me so yes that's it and then we just put a little more of this because we do not have a full layer of the eggplant and I want to end up with tomato before the, the parmesan and we always use parmesan okay it's a little bit more expensive than grana padana but it's definitely richer in the taste and yes I do squeeze this so it has to be like a little solid, it looks a little bit playing with food, but I always have the hands at the end of my arms so that it's easiest. So, goodbye with you. So, chop, 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 and then squeeze it a bit. It's funny because in the beginning I filled this one up with uh, eggplant before they got got drained it was full up to here and then it got drained a bit and then it was in the oven and now we added uh, like I think there was three mozzarella and a lot of tomato sauce and yeah the, the eggplant shrinked in the oven as well so yeah and then topping with the uh, uh, a lot of this nice parmesan. Yes. Yummy, 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 yummy. Getting hungry. But now it has to go in the oven for some time until it looks nice. The oven is on 200 degrees and normally it gets like 20 minutes or so. Yobby, yobby, yobby. Microplane, amazing. I really love them. And now sometimes this gets very warm. No, not today. And here we go. Bye bye. Kiss, kiss. See you in a minute.